गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स स्टडी विद अपाला इंजीनियरिंग एंड जनरल जियोलॉजी परवीन सिंह बुक इन चैप्टर सेवन स्ट्रक्चर फीचर ऑफ रॉक्स सो दस दस सोल्यूशन ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ फेसिंग एंड इंजीनियरिंग इंजीनियरिंग प्रोजेक्ट प्रोजेक्ट इन अ रीजन विद सस्पेक्टेड फॉल्टिंग मे बी एनालाइज एज अंडर फर्स्ट द सिविल इंजीनियर्स हैज टू असर्ट इन for the percent uh, presence of fault their type and extent and also obtains uh, through reports from an engineering so geologist of the effect and caused by these fault on the rock of the project area the number size and inclinations of the shear zones should be given top considerations uh, ideally the proposed uh, site for any major civil engineering project should be located as far away as possible so from an active fault and never so on active faults in many cases the faulting leaves the rocks only partially is affected and there may not be much choice available for shifting to the site of the project the embankment of the bhakra dam in india showed occurrence of numerous shear zones in them the site could not be changed because of other reasons hence it was decided to treat the shear zones by extensive excavations of the sheared materials and back filling with the cement grouting the embankment have with the stand the test of the time and similar treatment have been supplied in many other project as well in different countries second the safety of a civil engineering structure built on or near a faulted rocks can be ascertained only in a general way so the tectonic history of the area under consideration must be known or studied if not known thoroughly fault of any significance are always associated with earth quake so such studies would work would virtually is a means of obtaining information about the frequency of the earthquakes as also there's a magnitudes and effect that they have so left from the time to times on the rock of the reasons the exact position of the area of constructions with respect to the seismic zoning of the country and must be thoroughly established third even if the evidence collected from the study of the tectonic history of the area the leads to the conclusions that no movement may be expected in the rocks of the areas during the project life spans of the structure is on them some factors of safety must be introduced into the designs of the structures especially in the big project in faulted areas so that if the unexpected hap- happens there is a minimum loss to the project and in all big countries the map of seismic classifications are available in most cases recommendations of the statutory authorities are available about introducing suitable factor of safety in some major civil engineering project of any public importance that are proposed proposed to be constructed in area of known seismic zones these must be adhered to in the letter and spirit for few further details the reader is referred to chapter on earthquakes and also on the various engineering project thank you